think you recall on October 20th last year, we announced that the Bermuda government and the Desirales Hotel Group has finalized master development agreement for the St. George's Tourism Development Site. Today is another significant milestone for the St. George's Resort Development as the government of Bermuda and the Desirales Hotel Group have finalized the hotel ground lease that paves the way for groundbreaking of $150 million St. George's, St. Regis luxury development. It is very clear that this project will generate jobs in both construction and when the resort is operational in a few years' time. The de development plans are for the 124-acre site to include a 120-room St. Regis Hotel, a spa, a renovated St. George's golf course, residential condominiums, and a casino. For those of you who are not aware, the Desirelis Group is a privately held international owner operator of luxury hotels and resorts, including the award winning Ritz Carlton in Aruba and the Merit and Renaissance Hotels in Caracas. It is also developing the Ritz Carlton in Turks and Caicos Islands and a resort in Bonaire. Desirelis' commitment to build a world-class resort that harmonizes with the UNESCO designation of the town of St. George's is a testimony to the company's belief in the strong future for Bermuda in both the hotel operations and the island's residential real estate. The government's team was led by the Bermuda Tourism Authority and the Ministry of Tourism Development and Transport and included support from the Office of the Attorney General and, of course, the Ministry of Public Works. The government was well represented in the development transaction by Hemsphere Group International Real Estate Advisors, who have been responsible for creating numerous luxury resorts over the past three decades. OBMI, the international architectural firm, has already been engaged by the developer and is finalizing the planning and architectural designs through the firm's Bermuda and Miami offices. This milestone is a continuing achievement that will lead to the first new hotel development in Bermuda in many, many, many years. Furthermore, we are keeping our promise, which the government made to the people of Bermuda, to actually make this resort a reality. This is a very important day because it shows that confidence of a preeminent international developer with a Desirelis experience has in the Bermuda brand. I want to take this opportunity to personally thank you, Walter and Robert, Roberto Stippa, for the confidence that your team has brought to Bermuda. And we pledge, again, our continuing support to you through this vision of creating this new world-class resort in the historic town of St. George's. Thank you very much. The road has been long. We've traveled along the road. We've made progress. And now we see the bright future that you bring into St. George's and the people of Bermuda. With that, I'd like to ask my colleague, the Minister of Works, to say a few comments. Thank well, you, thank gentlemen. You. Thank you. <clears throat> Great. Uh, Premier, representatives of the Desarrollers Group, uh, this is an exciting time, Bermuda, for us to be entering into another phase of uh, developing uh, the hotel in St. George's. This is really, really an exciting time for us. As you know, last October we entered into an uh, MDO, or an, um, Master Development Agreement at that time with Desirelis, and uh, we are now looking to move forward with uh, the next stage of this development. Today, we are just simply de delighted. And what I want to do is just spend a few moments to thank the ministries that have been involved. There's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes to get to this point. And it would be uh, uh, remiss of me not to recognize the Ministry of uh, Tourism and all of the work, the people behind it, his PS and the likes, who have worked tirelessly day after day, late nights, uh, early mornings. Uh, where's the PS? I see him sitting over there. And to also, uh, for our division, uh, public uh, works for our team, the engineers, the architects, and the likes, who have put in endless hours of ensuring that we can get to this point. Bermuda. I want to say to you that on behalf of our ministry, we are extremely excited that we are here at this time and at this moment. The St. George Hotel development will stimulate 
all the key industries that drive our economy, including our tourism and hospitality sector and our construction sector. The people of Bermuda can be assured that this government will continue to work hard to ensure that our people prosper, and today's announcement is proof positive with that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Jenny Minister. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm delighted to stand here today with the Premier and the Minister of Public Works, my other colleagues, and everyone here today for the announcement of this important milestone that will see the first major hotel built in Bermuda in generations. It is the latest step in the promise made to EastEnders under the One Bermuda Alliance government that we would reinvigorate and revitalize St. George's, our only UNESCO World Heritage Site. This project will provide hundreds of construction jobs initially and further jobs once the St. Regis Hotel is completed. As an area MP, I am thrilled that the Club Med site will now be the epicenter of Bermuda's tourism revival. Today is a day all Bermudians can celebrate, and I look forward to groundbreaking in a few months as we continue to move Bermuda forward. Thank you. MP Basque. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's with pride that I stand here today and say thank you to the Honorable Minister Sean Crockwell and his team for bringing us this far. I would like to say thank you to the Dessa Royal developers, and I'm going to say to the community of St. George's, as I've said from jump, this is the real thing, and you will see a hotel built on the site, not of the old Club Med, but on the bronze site where the hotel once stood. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Members of the media, any questions? concept has been agreed mm. and we are working on on details on that uh, concept has been I think everyone has it uh, we can certainly provide copies whenever we have a copy of the concept that we'd like to know what the actual plans come for details oh details plans yeah it's uh, we, we already engaged the architect and engineers and interior designers oops sorry uh, we already engaged the uh, architect engineers and interior designers and they're, they're working on it. Normally, a project like this takes, takes some time, but we're working on it. How long before you anticipate the ground being broken? Uh, we're anticipating, uh, of course, this year. Uh, hopefully, uh, we get all the permits uh, fast and should, should not be later than third or fourth trimester. Of in, terms, in terms of employment, when do you? In terms of employment, how many Bermudians do you anticipate this project providing employment for? I think it's it's a little bit early to tell, but we are engaged with uh, with Bermuda and the community of St. George, and we want it's easy, it's you, you, you usually easier to get people from Bermuda to to work than bring them in from abroad. Are you planning a phased development, or is it all going to go up at one time? Uh, for the hotel, it's all at, at one time. For the residential, uh, it's it's gonna be phased. And as for the uh, golf course, golf course, it's 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 part of the hotel development. So it's once the hotel is open, golf course is gonna be open. Yeah, a project of this size, it's it's a large, very large project, and there's gonna be significant employment opportunities. And I think everyone involved is well aware that we want to make sure the Bermudians have the opportunity to be involved in that, and that's something that that we're gonna work with. And um, they've been, Des Royals have been very open with us on how we work uh, towards that goal, and we feel very comfortable. The, both the MPs that represent that area have, have uh, been involved in, in trying to make sure that it's best for St. George's, and so we're excited about it. But I think what we need to remember right here and now is that we have a partner who has a worldwide reputation for doing things right and being successful, and you have a government that is interested in working with people to get Bermuda up and running again. And then you have the town of St. George's, which is a perfect match for all of this. So, you know, that's three of a kind. That's a pretty good hand. Our, the, way, the way we see it and the way that a big brand like St. Regis sees it, it's, it's important as an amenity to the hotel. It's important for the guests to have that place to have fun and to do something at, uh, at night. We see it as an amenity, and uh, it's, it's, it's a big part, like, like golf. It's, it, that's, that's how 
that's how we want to 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 be seen also